beverage cell training. This is where you have your McCafe machine and you also have your Frappe machine. Each location has both of these machines. So uh, we are gonna go into detail with the Frappe machine first, and then we'll go ahead and detail with the McCafe machine. Okay, so at the Frappe machine, you see a monitor above the ice. Okay, there's the ice bin and then the monitor up top. On that screen, that is called a beverage monitor. So whenever any McCafe drinks pop up on the register, it will appear on this screen. So if you have a beverage specialist, they can make the drink orders for you, okay? So the Frappe machine, we're going to take a look at it from head to toe. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the ice bin that is above the display screen. Then you have your display screen, your cup holders, your lid holders, whipped cream holder, and we also have two pitchers for the Frappe station. You have a holder in the front for syrups or spoons that we use to mix our McCafe drinks up. And if we go ahead and open the Frappe door, this is where all the different flavored bags are held. So you have strawberry banana smoothies, you have mango pineapple smoothies, and in each one of the smoothies, there is a yogurt base with it. You have your slushy mix, caramel frappe mix, and then of course your mocha mix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into the different types of drinks that are made at the frappe machine. Okay, so let's take a look again at the cups and the lid situation so we know what goes on what. So our cups, we have again, three different sizes. You have small, which is 12 ounces, medium, which is 16 ounces, large, which is 20 ounces. If they get a frappe, your options are caramel or mocha. They get a dome lid. Each one of those drinks get whipped cream and either chocolate or caramel drizzle on top. Smoothies and the slushies all get a flat lid, okay? And our different types of flavors for slushies right now are blue raspberry, pink lemonade, and our fruit punch. Okay, so we are gonna make a couple different drinks that we can have at this station. We're gonna start out with uh, frappes. So let's take a look at the uh, display center first. Okay, you will see that you have the options of strawberry smoothie, mango smoothie, your caramel frappe, mocha frappe, and then your slushy button, okay? So it's very simple. We're gonna pick a size and the item, okay? so. First, you pick up your pitcher. You put it underneath the display. Okay, you're gonna pick what type of drink you want. So let's start off with making our smoothies first. So we're gonna do a strawberry smoothie. Hit the strawberry button. And then you get to pick your size. So there's also another option underneath here. If you need to make two of the same type of drink, you can. Let's go ahead and make uh, one strawberry banana small smoothie. So then you're gonna hit small. And then it will change up all the work for you after you hit the size. The machine dispenses out the proper amount of yogurt and strawberry mix. Once it's done mixing in the pitcher, you grab your size cup, small, 12 ounces, and then you pour the mix from the pitcher into the cup. And there will be sometimes a little bit of excess. And then you flip the pitcher over into the cleaning slot. 
And what you'll see here is the picture automatically gets cleaned out. And we will go into detail on how that part works, okay? All right, so after the smoothie's done, we put the lid on it. And now you have a completed strawberry banana smoothie. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is show you how the cleaning station works, and then we will go ahead and make two mango smoothies, okay? So let's pick up the pitcher, and we're gonna pull out the first silver cage part. Okay, now see that part has this white piece hanging on it. That is magnetic. So that is how the machine knows when you stick the pitcher in it, it makes this lever go down, okay? When it goes down, that releases the water to fly up in the pitcher, okay? So it's very, very important that you keep this clean and you don't accidentally hit it or you will spray water throughout the restaurant, okay? So if you take a look in here, there's a little drain. That's where all the excess mix and water drains out so that the pitcher stays clean for each type of drink we need to make, okay? So let's put the cage part back in. And one more look at how that flips down. Okay. And there you go, you have a clean pitcher. Okay, so let's go ahead and make uh, two mango small smoothies. So again, you put the pitcher under the display. You're gonna go ahead and hit mango, hit multiple, and then you hit the size multiple ones you need. So you hit small, then you hit it again. Okay, hit it again. And then you'll see on the display, it tells you mango, pineapple, multiple size, two smalls. Okay, this will save you some time. You can do up to three smalls. You can do up to three mediums at a time, but only two larges. You can never do more than two larges at a time, okay? After you have that done, then you can click on the button that says make drinks. Now it's going to dispense up enough to make two small mango pineapple drinks. Okay, take the pitcher out and you pour equal amount into each cup. When it gets to the rim, you put your flat clear lid on it. Flip the pitcher into the cleaning station. While that's cleaning, you can go ahead and put the lids on them. And there you go, two finished pineapple mango smoothies. Okay, now we can dive into the frappes. Again, we have two different flavors. We have caramel and we have mocha. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You have your mocha button and then you have your caramel button. We're gonna go ahead and make a small mocha. Again, same process here. You put the pitcher under, you go ahead and click what flavor you want, click the size you want, and it automatically makes Once it's done mixing, take the pitcher out, pour the mocha into the small size cup. And again, frappes all get whipped cream and drizzle. Since this is a mocha frappe, you're gonna put two inches of whipped cream on it. And then you're gonna go ahead and take the chocolate drizzle and you're gonna squirt it in the shape of an M on the top of the whipped cream. After that's done, you go ahead and put a dome lid on it. And there you go, you have a completed mocha frappe. Now we will do a caramel frappe. Put the pitcher under the display. Go ahead and hit caramel. Small. Spicy.
pour the caramel frappe into the cup. Again, after work, always put the pitcher directly into the cleaning station. While it's cleaning, you now have time to whip cream and use the caramel drizzle on your caramel frappe. Two inches of whipped cream. The drizzle goes in the shape of an M. In a dome lid. And now you have a finished caramel frappe. Okay. Our last set of drinks we're going to go over from this machine is our slushies. This is a big seller in the summer. So the first thing you do with this is you pick up your pitcher. And depending on what size slushy it is, depends on how many pumps of the syrup you put into the pitcher. So a small gets three, a medium gets four, and a large gets five pumps, okay? So let's make a pink lemonade one. So we're gonna do a small, so we do one, two, three pumps of the syrup. And if you notice, Diane, push the pump all the way down to the bottom. Very important, so we get the correct amount of syrup. After you have the three pumps of syrup in there, you put the pitcher under the display. You're gonna go ahead and click on slushy. And again, pick your size. Done mixing, you go ahead and pour the slushy into the size cup. Put the pitcher in the cleaning station and you grab a flat clear lid and now you have a finished slushy. Okay. So that's all the different types of drinks we make at this frappe station. A couple other things to go over. Every type of, every one of our food items, again, must have a secondary holding time on it once it's open. So let's go ahead and take a look at our caramel and uh, chocolate drizzles, how they have a timer on them. Okay. So that timer has a use by date on it and time. Our syrups for the slushies all have a use by date with a date and a time. And then if we open up the door, We'll take a look at each bag of frappe mix, slushy mix, and or the smoothie and yogurt mixes all have a secondary holding time on as well. So when you replace a bag, you have to go ahead and put a timer on it. You always want to keep your area nice and clean by cleaning as you go. Next, we're going to go ahead and train on our McCafe machine.